Welcome back to Thursday Race Fave. Now they want to drink water. Macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. Mm. Pepper. <clears throat> this was my favorite meal growing up. Really easy. Box macaroni and cheese and just cut up some hot dogs. I never fried it, but this time I fried this one. And then this was also good when um, your commodity would hit. You know how you will get commodity? Yeah. And there's always macaroni. It was one of the dishes I used to make when I was small. To feed my brothers and my sister, something really simple. <laughs> Never really did homemade though. It was always the craft. Powder cheese with hot dogs. I grew up eating this. My mom would always make it. This is really good though. Can you guys believe I made this without milk? <clears throat> we had no milk. Oh, there's no milk? So I just used just a bit of pasta water. Kind of how I would make it when I was small, anyways. When we had no milk at home, I just used the water in there. Oh. Yeah, my mom made this. We would eat it. It was always good. But we used the uh, um, box mac and cheese. <clears throat> we had hot dog all the time. Instead of spam. Mm -hmm. Cause they, well back in the day, I'm, you remember hot dogs were like, I remember seeing a pack of hot dogs for 59 cents. Warden said he never ate Spam. Never. I never grew up on Spam. A lot of it was hot dogs, because I do remember hot dogs for 59 cents. A lot of this food just re reminds you of being a little kid. Come inside, hurry up and eat. Then tell your mom, I'm gonna go back outside and go play. Should tell me to eat. I would hurry up and eat as fast as I can. You know how um, Jojo used to eat here? Mm -hmm. Hurry up, eat. 
go right back outside and start playing. It's different with JoJo. He would hurry up, eat, go straight to his room and start playing video games. We also used to have this at, um, during the summer in Chinle, when there's no school. Back then, <clears throat> the kindergarten, we used to live right next to the kindergarten. And they used to do this over there. They used to do hot foods. And I remember the school menu for the lunch over there. Well, not school menu, but the free lunch menu will have hot dogs and cheese too. Macaroni, hot dogs. Go to your friend's house and they will be eating this too. To this day, I really don't eat macaroni and cheese no more though. <clears throat> we don't really buy it. The bay is the only one that likes it, but she'll, she'll eat it every now and then. No, we don't really buy it as much. The last one we bought was because Warren wanted it. It was the Ninja Turtles. I remember we bought a big old pack from Sam's Club and it just sat in the cabinet for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Took forever to eat it. I think since then we haven't really bothered to buy it. I honestly think that we stopped buying it when she would make it. Because there's some things that I cook, some things I never really cooked. I wasn't really cooking everything when we first met. I wasn't like, oh, I can make this, I can make that. Like, now <laughs> I can just think of it and just make it. But she made this one time. Her mom gave us a big old bag of um, commodity macaroni. And those ones are huge. They're bigger. So she made that. Or I, I think we, we always have it with like some type of meat, you know, whether it's pork chops, mainly pork chops, I think, and chicken. Mm -hmm. And she did, said she was going to make mac and cheese. I said, mac and cheese? Why don't I eat mac and cheese? And here she made it from scratch. She used a bag of noodles and commodity cheese, boiled it, put it together. I don't know what she did. And then she finished it in the oven. And then after that, we had baked mac and cheese. Ever since then, we've just been eating it that way. I never thought about that. You never used to cook. <laughs> yeah, I was never like, I'm a chef. <laughs> yeah, he never used to cook. He um, made tamales one time for me. All fancy with the Thai thing around it. Hot, which one? Tamales. Oh, I thought you said hot wings. I'm like, huh? Huh? That's the last time I ever made tamales. And he keeps saying, I'll make it for you again. Man, tamales is hard work. <laughs> trying to tie it in three different spots. I impressed her, so that was okay. Just leave it there. Don't need to bring it back. But he's the one that keeps saying that. I'll make it. <laughs> it's in our Thursday Red's Fave menu, too. I don't want to look at it. But I was telling her, this is kind of how we had our tamales in Chinle. They were 
Oh, that size and they're tied at the both ends and in the middle and for some reason they always add rice in there i never like tamales with rice it's always like rice corn and ground beef or something or just like rice they say shredded beef but it's always just a lot of rice in that tamale and you're just like uh i'm not that type of tamale person i'm sorry people if you guys make those I prefer just the meat, but I was telling her, so I'm going to make those tamales one of these days, the way we would buy it from Chinle. I still haven't made it, but I got to make it. <clears throat> and then, uh, I kind of know, was kind of given an idea of how to make the Jimenez enchiladas. But yeah, he just brought that up. He never used to cook. I like my hot dogs, Bert. And then just one day, I'm gonna make this, I can make this. I'm gonna cook. Yeah, I was really never big, <laughs> really into cooking. If these were grilled outside, they would have been really charred. My mom would um, make the box of macaroni. Back then, I think it was better when I was small. My mom would make it and she would just cut it up and just throw it in. She wouldn't fry it, she wouldn't boil it or anything. <laughs> Full there easy on the Pepsi. Remember we did that in the video? <laughs> <clears throat> the video was drinking the soda one time. We're sitting at the table, I think, right? Yeah. And she's all. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Then that's when that movie came up to me. I was like, Fuller, easy on the Pepsi. She don't like it when you say that. <laughs> <clears throat> After that, she stopped drinking her soda that way. What does Ken Dominic say? Ken Clean Plate Award. Yeah, but my mom would just cut it up, throw it in the uh, mac and cheese when it was done, and we would eat it. Have you ever had hot dogs raw? When I was small, yeah. But <clears throat> I, I won't eat it raw now. So it's been to, a long time since I tried it. I want to try it. Um... The kids used to just take the, I think it was my brother, my little brother, just steal a hot dog out of the package and eat it like that. <clears throat> just open up the hot dog package, take it out and just eat it cold. If <clears throat> I can do that, well, I should probably still be able to do that because those small cans of Vienna sausages. I like eating those. <clears throat> and do you guys drink the juice? Not me. I'll stand there, I'll open the top bit. <laughs> Nevea used to do that, but she don't like it no more, huh? She don't do Vienna sausages no more. <clears throat> she grew out of that phase. Yeah, she did. I think a lot of people gross out though when they drink it with me. I'm just like, <laughs> I got all my sodium now. <laughs> but yeah, this was a <clears throat> Thursday Riz fave. I remember eating as a little kid. 
A lot of it was, um, we had it in school lunches too. We had it with that. Excuse me, it's the root beer. We had it with that and that was one of the easiest dishes I could cook when my mom was at work. And I don't know if I can really pair it with bread though. <clears throat> when I was small, I could never eat macaroni, cheese and hot dogs with any type of bread. We used to eat it with store bread. I couldn't do it with store bread. I can't do it with tortillas, fry bread, nothing. I just, I don't know. I still can't do macaroni with bread. Well, maybe if there's meat, but if it's just the way it was like this, I can't do it. If it's like a side, then yeah, I can do it that way. <clears throat> and then, yeah, a lot of it is just little childhood memories. My aunt didn't make this one. My grandma didn't make this one, really. It was just me trying to feed my brothers and my sister quick meal go back outside go play and then the um, school lunch during the summer would serve that <clears throat> that was good but you have to have a lot of pepper though I think it's really good with pepper Maybe we'll try it with the box macaroni and cheese one of these days again, but <clears throat> we don't really buy that box anymore. I think you notice it tastes different too, right? Yeah. It tastes a lot different. I don't know how to make it really. <laughs> I don't know how to make Hamburger Helper. Yeah, you guys know what he did with Hamburger Helper. So I'm kind of don't really know how to do the instant instant food i probably don't even know how to make instant mashed potatoes <laughs> i just keep thinking about that hamburger helper was all grease <laughs> he served it to us i was like what you the were video was all mad too <laughs> <laughs> you remember that yeah the video was all mad because she wanted to eat it and here we end up getting taco bell that day I said, I can't do this. But if it was beef stroking off from scratch, I could do it from scratch. I know the ingredients. I can just, if I just think of it, then I just picture the ingredients in my head and I can do it. So if you get your noodles, wow. He, um, when it comes to instant stuff like that, he doesn't read the directions. I think that's why he, he just thinks that it's in his, in his head and he can do it his way but in order to make the instant you have to go by the directions that it gives you or else it's not gonna come out right and i can't do rice what is it called rice aroni <clears throat> or those rice box rice packets or whatever i can't i don't like creamy textured rice i just can't do that one nabea loves it though it's probably because all the flavor that's all in there Cheddar and broccoli is good. But just thinking of this macaroni and cheese with hot dogs. Might be good if you put a little bit of broccoli in there. Wow. <laughs> what? Just kidding. <laughs> Someone's going to say, I do. And then I'll be like, see, I told you. <laughs> do you guys mix anything with your macaroni, cheese, hot dogs? Wow, I don't know what I'm saying. No, because it's just macaroni, cheese, and hot dogs. I remember doing macaroni, cheese with ground beef. I remember doing that dish, too. That's cheeseburger. Cheeseburger macaroni, yeah. Yeah. Hamburger helper. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring that one back. <laughs> I'm going to bring the back chili, chili mac macaroni. It's the best. Navia's favorite. They I think just, I'm going to make that. They just continued it. And I said, look, I found this at the store. I think she'll know the taste, though. But I think it's a lot of the chili powder and cumin. I can probably trick her. But thank you guys for watching and watching this really quick. You know what we could have had this with? What? 
Kool-Aid. Ah, oh, we have Kool-Aid too. We have a bunch of Kool-Aid, I think. That would have been perfect. But we have this. We have a whole bag of sugar that's been sitting there for like maybe over two years. That's for my blue corn mush. <laughs> for over two years and we finally started using it with our blue corn mush. We bought that. We had it. We just opened it and we had another bag that was half. And the reason we have all that sugar is because we stopped using it. After he found out he was pre-diabetic, we started using um, some other sugar. A different sugar. It's like Splenda, but it comes in a bag. And we started using that. But. Yeah, we finally got to open it not too long ago. Maybe just a few weeks ago. That sugar we finally opened is still full though. The only thing we're using it for is blue corn mush. I've been making that a lot on weekends now. Well, we have breakfast. I have an interview this week. I made, um, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> I have an interview this week. I said I ate it every day this week. Oh. And then, um, blue corn mush. I've been making that like during the weekends when we have breakfast. And I guess I told her, I said, this is how you make it look. Do it like this. And she's been making it, I guess. It's almost all gone. Uh, our supply is running low. <laughs> and we started eating it in Nevada. Uh, she didn't really want it. Until she goes, what's that? Let me have some. She took some from her mom's bowl. And now Nevada has been wanting blue corn mush. Yep. I guess she wanted it for school this morning, but... Yeah, this morning, but... She I, didn't get to eat it. I thought about it late, and it was already time to take her to school. So I'll probably end up making it tomorrow morning, and then this whole weekend make blue corn mush. But it's good, though. We, we love blue corn. I think Neville Urban got us back into it after watching all his videos. But thank you, guys for watching this video and <clears throat> remembering our childhood of eating this one where we were small back when there was no you could just drink water from the hose outside you didn't have to worry about anything outside I miss those days drinking water from the hose nice and cold yeah <clears throat> playing outside Nowadays he can't. But thank you guys for watching this, enjoying this video. I was trying to keep this short, but it's probably gonna be we'll 30 minutes. 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I hope you guys are liking some of the Halloween. Hey guys, I made a new shirt. Look. Series. Can you see it? Go down. Right there. It says hello pumpkin. I don't know how you say pumpkin in Apache, but it's just is this also <laughs> I heard say Geronimo it say that it's just, just also Yeah, oh. I made this shirt for myself. Yeah, that's what Geronimo says. Does he? I remember that movie. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy um, T-shirts. Anything you guys want. Uh, she's doing glass etching now, I guess. So if you guys want your beer mugs, you guys that drink. <clears throat> if you guys want a team, something that's on there. Uh, she did. Do you want to show it real quick? Um, the cup I made. Yeah, she made a Steelers. Okay. The Steelers are coming for my root beer soda. But uh, she's expanding into whatever she's doing. Um, cups, mugs, tumblers, t-shirts, bandanas, tattoos, name it all. Whatever um, 
um, design, whatever logo um, you want. I can, I can make it. I can put it on a shirt. The clear. Sorry, guys. If you guys want a Nala shirt, I can make you a Nala shirt. You guys, yeah, you guys want Nala and Loki merch? If you want a Loki shirt, I can make you a Loki shirt. Um, it says Steelers right there. We have a Beats and Vader shirt out there. <laughs> yep, someone is uh, wearing a Binks Invader t-shirt. I think it's a Halloween shirt. In Oklahoma. In Oklahoma. If you guys can guess who that person is. We don't even have one here. Not we don't even, even the have Bea. an Invader shirt. But yeah, that person's walking around with Binks Invader. Let's see if anybody can guess it in Oklahoma. Yep. It's in Oklahoma. But this came out good. I'm making these if you're interested. Um, let me grab a mug that I made. It might be for sale because this person hasn't reached out to me. But if you're going to order something, um, if you're local, um, well, before I do any orders, I think I want to have um, it paid up front. That way, I'm not left with what I made because that's that happened to me already. But I'm gonna grab the book that happened to her and her business, and that happened to me in catering. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're gonna start doing pay up front, pay half, or whatever. But uh, she was nice enough to do some orders, and a few of them just never came back, they're just like ghost at her after she made it and she's like uh what do i do with this now i said i don't know we just gotta sell it again so it's just they don't want to reach back i guess fired up and they're like yeah yeah we'll order this we'll order that then it just never happens but we're almost at 4k i think i'm like 110 away 110 away to 4k subscribers and I want to do a giveaway at 4k um, so we'll talk more about that when we start getting closer to 4k man it feels like it <clears throat> took forever to get to 4k but we're almost there two years on YouTube and we're at 4k Almost to 4K. Be nice to get to 4K before um, New Year's. These are the mugs that I made because <clears throat> this person placed an order for these mugs. It doesn't have to be a football team. It can be any team or anything that you want. If you want it to say, I love my babe. <clears throat> this one's a Seattle... Seahawks. Seahawks. So, there's two of these for sale if you guys are interested. Ten dollars. Yeah, I have two of them. They're, the mugs are ten each. Ten each, so two Seahawks. Is there any Seahawk fans out there? <clears throat> if you guys want to place an order, if you guys want to inquire about an order, email us at um, Yazi Family. 22? Yazi Family 22 at Yahoo. Yazi Family 22 at Yahoo.com. Um, uh, Curtis should be right here telling us. <laughs> so far, the the shirts have been doing good. I've been getting online orders and they um, pay for the shirt with the shipping and I work on it and I send it out. But Rosanna... Um, I sent you a couple emails. Um, you're probably wondering why you haven't got your shirts, but maybe we did get your um, address when we did the Christmas card. But I don't, I don't keep um, addresses. So, if you can email us back your address, yeah, email us back your address, and then we'll get your shirt out. Everything else is good. Um, you guys want burritos? Come see me. Well, <laughs> I'm not selling nothing. <laughs> what am 
my spouse to sell. <laughs> your catering. Talk about your catering. <laughs> catering. You yes. know, I've been thinking about it. I think the res catering. People think that, oh, they're res catering, so they're going to cook res for us and they're going to charge us res. <laughs> We almost had one uh, today again. Uh, we got a phone call a couple of days ago, and <clears throat> 150 people drop off. We said, "Okay, okay," but they never came back. It's like, come on, man, we're not going to charge $200 for 150 people. That's what I think, though. I think it's the name, Res Catering. They probably think, "Oh, they'll charge us $100 to cook for all these people." Yeah, so maybe me and Benny got to get our heads together and think of a different name. Then people will be like, oh, okay, they're not res, Dan. Yeah. They're cooking from Window Rock. No, we'll, we'll figure something out because... Cousin Benny and Uncle Warren catering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm telling you, Benny can cook, though. He can cook. Cousin and cousin catering. <laughs> cousin and cousin catering. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions about any of uh, the stuff that I can make, just send us an email. I check the emails every day, every morning. <clears throat> so um, if I didn't get your email, it probably you probably put in the wrong email. Yazi Family Twenty Two at Yahoo dot com, not Gmail, Yahoo. I'll put it somewhere right there, right there, Curtis, right there. Maybe you can put it on the screen for us, Curtis. Wow. <laughs> Just see, Curtis. Curtis is good at that. Curtis, what size shirt you wear? Curtis, send us an email. Um. You know what? <laughs> no, he has your phone number. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait, I know his number. <laughs> <laughs> See something happened to my brain. But yeah, these are the new this is the new one I made. He used to be the itching man, but he gave up, so I took over. She took over all my stuff in there. And I can make like I said, I can make any shirts, whatever you guys want on it. Um I can make it. So um don't be afraid to reach out. I don't bite. But, how many butts have we said now? I don't know how Thank many you. souls. Thank you. <laughs> See, I can't even make you this shirt. Sons of Anarchy. That was my shirt. You gave it to me. Got really tight on me. Thank you guys, and thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys on our next Halloween video. There's still more videos coming out. Yep, be ready. Bye. Bye.